This video is going to be a speed render overview. If you're feeling confident and your memory serves you as far as rendering goes in Maya, maybe you'll look at this uh, in addition to the long one or maybe just this one. Anyway, I'm going to get started on this. Now in order to do so, I've brought up my light. And I'll get my light by going to the outliner, clicking on my light. And in the attributes, by clicking on the tab or hitting Control A, I can go in and make the adjustments to this. Now in a spotlight, and because we're using Arnold, it consumes a lot of, of the intensity. So I've started with 40. I've changed the cone angle to about 26. And this is all subject to change. If we leave this up, we can adjust it in our render window. I've made the penumbra angle maxed out at 10. So I have a soft edge to the light dissipation. I've opened up the Arnold tab. In the Arnold tab, I've set the exposure to 3.5 and samples to 2 and the radius to 2.5. Now bear in mind by changing the samples and changing the radius, you will increase your render time, but you'll get a better render even at 72 dpi. Now I'm going to bring up my render settings. So the Arnold Render Settings, we're going to click on the Hollywood Clapboard up here with the blue gear to the left of the pool ball or the hypershade. And I'm going to click on the Common tab. Now we don't need to make any changes until we scroll down under Renderable Camera and Image Size. Under Image Size, I'm going to change the preset to HD 540. It will read 960 pixels by 540 pixels. The resolution is set for 72. Clicking on the Arnold renderer, I'm changing the camera AA to 4. And as in the case of the light, by changing this number and bumping it up, we add to render time. Now I'm going to bring up the Arnold render view. And I'll click on the red triangle to preview what I have. And here's my composition. If that's the composition I want, I can go ahead and render, or if need be, I could go to my viewport and manipulate it there if I chose. When I'm ready to save that render, I'll make sure the word rendering is done in the lower left-hand corner of the interface. And now that I see just a number sequence in the lower left, I can go to File, Save Image. You would save it appropriately named and put it in a folder and hit save. Maya will save it as a JPEG, which will serve our purposes for the interactive PDF. You're going to do that with at least three other images, changing the composition as you go. And those, along with the animation, which we will cover this week,